What's up AstroPAC? We're on site at the Kennedy Space Center today and we're learning more about what AstroPAC has done in support of space exploration. I mean, look at this place. I'm Jonathan Hopkins, Vice President of Operations for AstroPAC's Clean Room Services. I've been with AstroPAC um, just over five years. You know, when I joined AstroPAC, the th one of the things that really enticed me was the opportunity to literally be a part of history, right? I mean, it, we're going back to space. So here we are in front of the iconic VAB at Kennedy Space Center. Right, this is such a familiar site to people that are interested in space exploration and in space travel. This is the building where the large rockets, the large vehicles are assembled. AstroPAC's involvement in this has been helping to build out that mobile launch platform. And then from the clean room services side, we've cleaned probably thousands of feet of tubing and other components that are actually assembled onto that rocket. Hi, my name is Griffin Blatchley. I'm the Florida Field Operations Manager. I've been with AstroPAC for roughly six years. I would say the most challenging part of my job is the logistics, whether it's personnel logistics, paperwork logistics, and especially equipment logistics. You know, we're doing jobs in Florida, all the way to Georgia, to Alabama. For me, it's very rewarding working in the aerospace industry, you know, whether we're working for Blue Origin, SpaceX, ULA. You know, I find it very rewarding that scheduling the guys, allowing them to go work on all these different projects, you know, whether it's a major rocket or a smaller rocket, it's just very rewarding that we are doing something to help the world as a whole. But yeah, this is actually a mobile clean room um, that the field services use to support uh, some work at SpaceX. Um, and we've used it at various locations. I mean, it's been here, it's been um, when we were working on the mobile launch platform, um, uh, geez, back in 2017, 2018. My name is Steve Rees. I've been at AstroPack for 10 years. I always think like what makes us us is that, that ability to problem solve and the expertise. I owe it to the guys, right? Because they're the ones out there that are doing it. They're the ones figuring it out, you know, on the fly, in the middle of the Cape with no, you know, cell phone service. They're kind of just figuring out what to do to make it right. So that's always the most impressive part for sure. Scope standpoint, we did a seven and a half mile pipeline. That had its challenges because it's hard to do the sampling with the entire seven and a half miles connected. Those are the kind of ones where the, that stand out for us from a size standpoint. Um, a couple of the project highlights included the rebuild of the mobile launch platform. Uh, that platform is actually supporting the upcoming uh, Artemis mission launch. So the SLS rocket will launch from that platform. The Artemis program is NASA's uh, series of missions that will culminate with the return of uh, a manned landing on the moon. The larger projects really present a, a great opportunity to bring that synergy of AstroPAC's field and clean room services teams together. And we're a company who's dedicated to innovation, we're dedicated to excellence, we're dedicated to taking care of our people. We do the right things because they're the right things to do. And that's why we're AstroPAC. Super cool experience getting to go on site at the Kennedy Space Center today and just learn a little bit more about what our field and clean room services do um, for all of the major aerospace companies that launch and work out of there. So I hope you enjoyed a little behind the scenes tour and we'll see you next time.